I'm sure when you hear that sound, you know what is about to hit you. You know what is about to go down. You know what is about to happen. It's the crew, the clan. Yes, the gang. Talking about Prime Sport about to steal your airways. Maybe 56 minutes thereabouts, you know, we'll be here. And one of the joys we've got is that you will be there. That's why we look forward to this time. And you have been waiting for us. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I have been waiting to spend time with you. They have been waiting to spend time with you. And that's the best part of the show. You're officially welcome to Prime Sports on Yaba Tech Radio 89 or 3 FM. Like I always tell you, Prime Sports has everything class. And when you're talking of Yaba Tech Radio, it's all about excellence. You bring class and excellence together, you know, you get something spectacular. The World Cup is still hotting up, still hitting us so hard, and you need to be on the show. What is happening in Africa? We are happy. Trust me, the entire Africa is a Moroccan. Yesterday, today, up until they play the quarterfinal games, and we're wishing them all the best. The entire Africa united yesterday after Ashraf Hakimi, all since the start of the penalty. And that's how it is. Also, on the home front, the National Sports Festival is still getting our attention. And like I've said time and time again, if you're not on this train yet, you're on a long term because it's sweet, it's so nice. The Sport Minister, Mr. Sonny Dari, kept saying, the standard is nice, is echoing what so many people are saying, and this is what Delta really did promise us. Also, something a bit sad, hey, ah, oh, Toby Musa missing out in the female athlete of the year. We knew she was up against stiff opponents, but, uh, you know, it's just good sometimes when you get the recognition. This same year, our own Aziza Toshuala got recognition for making the first 18 players in the world when it comes to women's football how classy is that our women are doing us so proud a whole lot to talk about on the show we'll get to unwrap them but you know how we do on the show uh you know i don't run alone number one then we always start from news and before we go into anything talking news rounds and all of that there is also somebody in the studio someone i call our boss on the setup on the show we call him tulopia you know for those who lost the call by nickname but his name is definitely Solomon Edivri, he's the darkest of the gang, but he's also the leader of the gang. Solomon, you're welcome to the show. It's great to be here. Like you said, Africa stood up for Morocco yesterday, and I I, I followed that game from beginning to the end, and yeah, it you was yeah, I, I, you 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 see discipline unlike the regular Africa team. Yes, this side was it, for one hundred for one hundred twenty minutes. The 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 the, the target was simple. They knew what to do. They did what they had to do at that point in time. And when it came to penalties, they just did their best and it was fantastic. It was, we'll get to we'll get to talk about we'll that. We'll definitely know, get to talk about that. And one of the things that happened in that game, don't worry, we'll unravel it. <laughs> no, no, I, I like Asha Asha Akimi's uh, jubilation. That, 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 that's like a penguin right there. It's so beautiful. Another sight right now. Whenever Morocco gets to finish a game, the win, Ashraf Hakimi going straight to the mom. The power of mommy it has become a ritual. Now let's go straight to the news hand, but before I get to do that, you know what I do? I take you back in time and show you that the old bees also do have a way to have fun right there. Let's have this musical break where we get back into the straight to the news hand. This is MI with Action Fame. Enjoy this. Mm -hmm. 